When I started the Dinghy Community Program in 2010, the aim was and remains to unify and celebrate the talents of beauty queens as they network, share ideas, and establish activities that will highlight their important social roles in society. This is achieved through charity and welfare work, empowerment activities, environmental transformation activities, and entrepreneurship skills development. My mission statement is to create a community program that helps enhance the living conditions of children and the elderly. And the goal is to establish a scheme of giving and receiving with young women and girls as they plow back into their communities. Projects include holistic health. This project facilitates health care initiatives as well as supports adolescent friendly health services. Through activities such as school visits, educational material distribution, hygiene and sanitary practices and pampering. One of the beneficiaries is the Katutura Old Age Home, a home that takes care of 19 elderly people. I am happy to be part of this activity, especially because it involves showering our elders with love, because in this process they also fill us with wisdom that has been forgotten over the years. Beneficiaries to these projects are Let Children Come to Me Pre-Primary School, a pre-primary school in the Katatura suburbs of Namibia that takes care of 54 children. Another project close to my heart is the When I Grow Up project. The aim of this project is to provide education for orphans and vulnerable children in order to provide a rigorous and effective backbone that brings independent schooling in order to produce a future of self-dependency. The aim of this project is not narrowly academic, but to ensure the development of the child as a whole, creative, ethical and social, physiological and psychologically, as well as intellectually, to have and to take ownership of their own visions. Activities of this project include life skills training, workshops, guest speakers, sporting activities, and collective arts.